Thanks so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build your website and run your business. Whether you need a digital portfolio, online store, blog, or simple landing page, Squarespace can help. Just choose from one of their thousands of website templates, customize it to your liking using their simple drag and drop style editor, and that's it. Enjoy your beautiful, functional, and professional looking website that you brought to life with no design or code required. If you ever need help along the way, Squarespace has award-winning 24-7 customer support. So if you'd like to update what you're doing online or start something completely new, go to squarespace.com slash alleycherry for your free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm camping right now, not in this car, but Nick and I are in Big Sur. And before this trip, I had big plans to like have this whole beautifully organized camping setup to enjoy and share with you. And the reality is it just didn't work out as perfectly as I had originally planned, but I wanted to share anyway because nobody's perfect. And maybe I can share a few tips that would help you on your next camping trip. So this is me camping. I haven't washed my hair in a couple days. I'm wearing, I've been wearing this, this jacket for a really long time. How many days, Nick? It is, it's still beautiful. So anyway, let's get into a few camping organization tips. Nick and I car camp. We're not cool enough to backpack yet. I want to, but as you'll see from this video, we very much car camp. And so when I car camp, the first thing I like to do is make sure that my car is empty of everything that I don't need for the trip. I wanna get rid of all of that before the trip so that I can put just what I need in the little compartments and stuff. So let me show you. First things first, I have this reusable cup, but I don't have anything in it. I have it filled with, or I don't have any liquids in it. I have it filled with reusable napkins. I just have it right here so that I can easily get to them if I need them, if we're eating or you know cleaning something, whatever. The cleaning solution that I brought with me is this force of nature. This is like a natural disinfectant using vinegar, salt, and water. I also have this large hand sanitizer, obviously just for easy access. I have a Coco Kind SPF. I really like this one because it's reef safe. It's um, just zinc oxide, but it doesn't have a white cast at all. And it's packaged in sugarcane packaging. This is something new that I bought for this trip. It's called bug bite, the bug bite thing. I guess it just suctions out the venom. I've never tried it before, but I like the idea of something like this. It can be reused, you know, cleaned and reused over and over again. And then I also have some first aid stuff and I like that it's just right here. It's not in any container that I need to find if we need it. So this is just a bag that I've had forever that I reuse with some band-aids, alcohol wipes, little first aid things. And then I also have this silver first aid gel that I really like. It's kind of like a Neosporin type deal. And then the last thing I have are these little, they're kind of like cough drops. Again, they're not fully zero waste, but they're packaged in one bag instead of a bunch of little tiny, you know, plastic wrappers. So I like these and yeah, I just like to have them easily accessible. So those are, so, that's sort of like our little mini medicine cabinet for the car. And I love that everything's just super easy to get to. This is so messy up here right now, or like it's dusty and stuff, but I just wanted to show you, I try to keep things really simple up here. I have my phone plugged in. And then the only other things we have up here are our little flashlight and then a portable charger that's also charging. Okay, this is where it starts getting a little messy back here. We made the mistake of going to my PO box on our way out of town. And that was a big mistake because now I have all of our mail just like shoved into the back of the seat right here. But that's okay, I'll show you what else is back here. I always like to keep at least one reusable bag on the back of the seat so that I can put dirty reusable towels. Like if I use one of the little tissues that I have up there, um, I can just put it in here so that it's away from everything else. Sometimes I'll even have two. I'll have the clean stuff here and then the dirty stuff over there. And then this bag just has all of my clothes in it. We ended up doing something sort of different this time because because of the health things that I'm going through right now, I take a lot of supplements in the morning that are liquid and I usually take them in a smoothie because it's just so much easier and I can get like 
all my spinach and stuff in. So anyway, we obviously couldn't bring a big a big blender. <laughs> I was gonna say a big smoothie maker on the trip, but we found these. They're dirty right now, but they've worked really well for us. This is not an ad by any means, but, and I don't even think this is necessary for everyone at all, but just because of my situation, I really needed something like this and it's worked out really well for us. So we have our two little smoothie, um, blenders right here in this little basket so that I could take them or we could take them easily to clean them. Another thing we do, I really hope these cars are not ruining my video. Oh, I'm still, I'm still filming here. Another thing we do to save space is we hang our big old sun hats on the back of our seats, which is great. Hi, Nick. And then over here is Nick's stuff. So his clothes, the camera gear, this external battery that I said was a solar battery before but it's not but it is a rechargeable battery and then i guess we just have our trunk now right should i get out and go over here if you saw my past how i pack my car for camping video i wish we still had that set up we don't it's a long story it's not a long story actually when we moved we gave that little shelf away oh i thought you're talking about the westie oh my gosh the westie <laughs> do you remember that i I blocked it out. No, just kidding. Okay. <laughs> One day we're gonna have a recreational vehicle that's just gonna be amazing and it's gonna have all this built-in storage and we're just gonna like be able to go anywhere like this without having to pack anything. But that's not our life right now. This is our life. So it doesn't fit perfectly, but I think it works for what we want or, you know, this short trip, it, it works. So anyway, we have two little plastic drawers. These were hand-me-downs from a friend of mine. So this is our garage drawer and this is our kitchen drawer. Which one do you want to see first? Let's go with the garage drawer. <laughs> Super easy to open. So what I did with these is obviously I cleaned them and then I'd laid down a towel underneath just to sort of help um, to keep things in place, you know, to kind of keep them from shifting around. And yeah, like I said, this is kind of like our tool drawer. So I don't even know what's in here. This is like a little container that I always keep in the car. It has like some napkins and I don't even Band -Aids. know. Band-Aids, oh, more Band-Aids. Rubber bands, I think it has some tampons. Emergency stuff. Okay, and then this little drawer has some sunscreen. Walkie talkies, huh walkie talkies it has quarters for showers some extra sunscreen some um little screwdrivers duct tape um just sort of emergency stuff like if our tent had a hole in it we would use duct tape to you know fix it um yeah we have little fire starters this is still the bag that we that i showed in that video i think from like 2018 or 2017 this lasts a really long time and this brand is really great. I feel like it's super passive aggressive. The brand's called If You Care and it's like an environmentally friendly brand. If you care. We have straps for the car. We have a, re a rechargeable battery, an inflator, a lighter, and then Nick's new headlamp that he's very excited about. Okay, kitchen drawer, I'll take this out. This one is pretty basic. I actually cooked most of our meals and have them just in the cooler. So we don't have a ton of kitchen stuff on this trip. We didn't even bring a stove um, because we're getting coffee out in the morning. So you know, if you watch my channel that I try to reduce my waste as best as I can. So what that looks like for me on a camping trip is a lot of prep ahead of time and a lot of reusables. I have reusable tea towels. I have reusable napkins, two reusable plates, reusable utensils, and this is just all stuff that we use in our kitchen at home. If you want to and you have the space, you can obviously buy, you know, or thrift camping stuff. If we had like an adventure mobile, like if we saw the Westie, I definitely would fill it up with thrifted things so that I wouldn't have to pack it every time. That would be great. But for us in this stage of our life, this works perfectly. Another thing too, if we were camping at a place like Yosemite, I would love to have baskets like this because I could just take them and put them in our bear locker um, and then be able to access them super easily from there. Okay, we're sort of coming to the end of things here, but I guess just for transparency, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. This is all of our camping stuff, our tent, our camping mats, our sleeping bags. 
This is a little refillable ice pack in case one of us gets injured. I just have it there. And then we do have plastic water bottles. We refill them. And then these are little travel pillows. So look at all this mess. I feel like it's a lot of stuff, but it's also, I mean, it's, I mean, I guess some people would say we don't need camping mats, but I need a camping mat. So, you know, it's not like super over the top, I feel like, but it's just kind of big. So what can you do? It, it all fits nicely here. Our cooler is on the other side. Should we show that? Okay, so this is the trunk. Um, this is our humongous cooler. It's like, it's Costco size. I think we got it at Costco a couple years ago. This is our little beach tent that I showed on Instagram. Over here, we just have beach towels. In this bag, we have our actual towels. We're on the side of the road. We're on, we're on the side of the road, Highway 1. Authentic um, sound design for you. Our cooler's a mess, so I'm not gonna show you, but maybe I'll do a separate video about it. A lot of you, or I have gotten questions in the past, like, how do you keep your food, like, how do you keep your cooler? And to be honest, I haven't really figured out how to keep water from melting into my food. So that's why I haven't done a video about it, but I feel like maybe I figured something out on this trip, so I'll keep you updated. And if you don't hear from me, then I just thought it wasn't worth it to share. So anyway, this is our trunk. It's nice because when we, you know, need to get stuff out of the cooler, we can get it out and then we can like eat it here or whatever. Um, and this is the cooler, that's it. Okay. And I also just wanted to show you, so this is the car where we were filming and this is why we love Big Sur so much. This is the water right here. So yeah, that's how we keep our car. It's definitely not perfect, but I don't know. I feel like I would want to see someone's imperfect camping setup versus nothing at all or something unattainable. So anyway, if you have any camping organization tips or hacks, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I personally would love to hear them. And yeah, I hope you all are having a great day and a wonderful week and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.